Over the past 10 years, the city of Detroit, 1990, and although he never sought it, he quickly earned the tag as being Detroit's role model. I lived my life. I, I never said uh, I was a role model. Uh, people have classified me as being a role model. I don't mind it. If a role model means just being a nice guy, somebody who says, yes, please, thank you, you're welcome, no, may I help you, then that's what I am. In order to get the best out of you, you got to bring all that fire and energy out of your body, and you got to set it on the raw nerve. And sometimes uh, you do things totally out of your character as a person, but you're supposed to because you're competing. Now, if I competed like this as a nice guy, Shit, I wouldn't. I, I'd never win. Yeah, I'd be giving the ball away. Here, you can have it. That's okay. Go oh, score. <laughs> Once I had got through all the, the vigors of being an athlete, and I finally came home, and me and my wife got to sit there and watch the game as an average American family, I found myself rooting for the Chicago Bulls and wanted them to do well after all my emotions was gone. Off the court. One area where Isaiah Thomas always excels is in sharing his own life experiences with the youth of tomorrow. Three of my best friends that I grew up with, two of my dead, when I was in dead. The people who helped me, who helped make Isaiah Thomas what he is today, I could never repay those people. The only way I can repay them is to give it to some of the kids. And now when those kids grow up, they'll never be able to repay me for some of the things that I'm doing for them. But the debt that they owe to me is to help another kid out. That, that's, how you, that's how you do it. I can never, the people who made me successful, the only thing I can say to them is thank you, but I can never like repay them for what's happened to me.